Hi, you guys. Welcome. Welcome. This is the day after Trisha's birthday party, which was held at Mastro's. And these are all the leftovers that I didn't know we were taking home. And Kelly goes, oh, no, that's our bag because nobody else wanted them. So we're like, I don't know what's all in there, but I'm so excited. And, um, yeah, this is my drink of choice today. <laughs> fake, fake coffee, but um, I had... Uh, I didn't have a whole lot to drink, but I had like, I started out with a Jack and Coke, and then I had some champagne because that was flowing, and then um, the guy poured me some sparkling water, and then um, Adam went and got us a, a Blue Moon, so I'm like, oh, wait, I have to drive. <laughs> so um, I only had a couple sets of Blue Moon, and then I had water the rest of the time because um, don't drink, drink and drive. So um, yeah, the last couple hours I didn't, so... This is a non-drinking video. First time in probably ever you'll ever see this. Never, ever, probably again, but uh, our bar old mucky Starbucks toy. Actually, it's Starbucks. Starbucks Frenchy Roast. I love it. So, uh, anyway, I want to do a thumbnail before I open what's all in here because this will be a spoiler alert. But we did, um, let me, I'll just tell you right now. Um. Trisha was so generous. I mean, it was such a great party. We had the, the picture photo booth. We had karaoke. We had we could dance if you wanted to. It was just a, people are, were amazing. Her friends, just over the top great. I mean, we had such a great time, and it's really nice to have like uh, a little intimate group. I don't know, maybe there was 30, 35, 40, maybe. Um, but um, all super super nice. So that was cool. But uh, anyway, we all got party favors when we left. And of course, this is what's going on, you guys. She is launching her Glitter Bitch Box. Cool. I'm not going to open it, but I haven't even opened mine yet because we got back late last night. But wait, I'm going to do a thumbnail right. Cut. There, now you can see it. But I love the packaging. And, um... Yeah, the picture inside of her is cool. I probably can show you the picture. Look at that. She is golden. That's golden. That's my golden girl. Love you, Trash. Great birthday party. Thank you. Okay, so anyway, and then um, you get all this. And it's a just, it's a heavy box, too. And, uh, yeah, look more for these. Um, she'll, um tell you where you can purchase them but how cool and then she's got her little body there wah, wah, wah. so um yeah that was cool that was really nice so everybody got one of those as a parting gift to say thank you for coming so uh yeah let me put that over there I'm so excited to see what's in there she kind of showed me some things uh before it came out but I gotta, I gotta i gotta look 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 but um yeah anyway um so yeah i got back late um and Callie rode back with me. She stayed overnight because she had to get up at work at like 8 this morning and head back down to the beach, her, you know, area. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm not going on a lot of sleep right now. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, that's how it is. Anyway, Mastro's, the flowers are just a small portion of what Trisha had at her um, birthday party. And... People could take them home. Uh, she had white roses. I believe those are hydrangeas, hydrangeas or drays. I don't know. And then peonies. That's so sweet. But it's just, you could smell this in my place, you guys. It's, it's really, really cool. But I, I love all white arrangements. I, I really, really do. So, anyway, let's, we're going to see what's in. Okay. One rose bites the dust. So, anyway, thank you, Mastros. The staff that waited on us were amazing. They, we didn't want for nothing. The seafood towers were, oh, I don't know if you've ever been to Mastros, but the seafood towers are like three tiered and they got the shrimp with the sauce. And then you got crab legs sticking out and lobster and oysters and uh, all on ice. And it, it was like for every four we had them. I'm like, four people. I was like, so good. I'm just. Really, really good. I'm gonna um, put this over here because we're going to. I'm gonna open them and put them on a plate. So, well, unless they wipe out first, right? I love very elegant boxes, of course. You know, 
Oh, and then, uh, you know what? We got to put that back up because why? Oh, it's so messy back there. That's my Poshmark table. Didn't get that cleared up. I try to make it appeasing for you guys to see, but, and not always me, but it's like, okay. So let's roll up the sleeves and let me see. I had, I had a couple spoons. Now I want to just put this all in a big plate because when Callie comes home, uh, or when she comes, she's going to come over and we're going to have the leftovers together. So I'm just going to put them all on this big plate. Let me see if I can get it down before wiping out all the stuff. Okay. Here we go. Oh, perfect. This is not the best angle for me, but it's okay. I don't care. I don't care. Also, I watched uh, Trisha's video this morning after her birthday that, uh, uh, that, I don't even want to say his name. I don't want to give him any credit, but he, how he shamed, he, his thumbnail was her, her, with her makeup on, with all it. I'm like, you know what? First of all, if you have to make money, if you're a YouTuber and you have to make money off of other people, shame on you because that's really not what YouTube is. Do your own creative stuff, you know? Um, I saw it and I'm like, wow, what, a, well, he is a low life. Okay, I'm going to say H3H3. I don't know who he is. I don't know what the guy is. But you know what? If you need money that bad, I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. And Trisha said he's got a wife and a baby on the way. I'm like, if you know, if it, somebody does that to your son or daughter, you're not going to like it. So I hope, like Trisha said, I hope he would take it down. To, to shame people, shame women for not wearing, when they have, don't have their makeup on, they're like, oh, you're so ugly. I'm like, you know what? Oh, that just just totally burns me to have to have why do, why do women have to wear makeup all the time we look we have got to accept ourselves without makeup uh it's what the good lord gave us and you know what for some man who no, nobody knows i don't you know i'm it's like shame on you just shame 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 on you i'm just like so appalled that those people are on the youtube thing because um that's scum. You're scum. If you call out some woman and she's not as attractive without the makeup, and you know what? I'm going to do a video without my makeup. I mean, I look hideous in the morning, and um, it's okay because that's who I am. And not everybody looks great at one point in their lives, but for him to do that thumbnail on her, shame on you. Why don't you put your own face up there? Just saying. Okay. That's my rant. That's my rant. But um, anyway, Trisha. Lots of love. Guy's not worth anybody's time. I, know if, I guess he called out um, Chloe and Tana and body shames them. And I'm like, who gives, who gives him that right to do that? Who gives you that right? If, I know you're not going to be watching, but who gives you that right to do that? I'm sorry. Are you God? No. No. You need to just maybe get off YouTube and just do something else because you're hurting, hurting tons of people. Because girls that see this say, oh, God, my self-worth is nothing if I don't wear makeup or if my hair's not perfect. Oh, I should have done a whole video on that. But anyway, you guys, yeah. Not happy when I saw that this morning. I'm like, wow, what an ignorant person. Okay, so we're starting out here with, oh, mushrooms. We had sautéed mushrooms. Oh, so good. Wow. I don't think this plate's going to hold everything. I don't know. What we, here, we'll put it in the bag, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so we have the sautéed mushrooms. Let's see what else here. Ooh, that's a heavy one. Let's, everyone's heavy. All right, well, we'll just kind of see. Oh, more mushrooms. More mushrooms. Okay. Should put them in an omelet some morning. I'm going to leave those in there because that's, that's, um, that's a lot. And, oh, now this, this must be Cali State. I think she did bring it home. The girl, I think she gets hers like medium rare. Can you guys see that? Put it on my couch, but, uh, so that's what we have so far. Mm -hmm. Let's make room for, uh. Oh, there's a big box back here. Oh, oh, I forgot we even had these. We had so much food, you guys. I was so full. I just had a, like a little bite of everything. But I'm so glad they, they boxed this up for us to take it home. But look, we have pea pods. Oh, 
and I love pea pods. Oh, I'm putting it on there. So good. <coughs> okay, so we got the pea pods. I forgot. So this is basically what our dinner was. Um, we all had um, pea pods, mushrooms. Uh, we got to order steak, seafood. Uh, you know, whatever you wanted, the salad, wedge salad, lobster bisque soup, um, something like that. And more, more pea pods. I love these, you guys. I'm, I should do a stir fry. I could do a stir fry. So let's keep those to, uh, for, uh, here, let me, you know what? You guys can't even see. Let me turn you. There we go. And we still have the flowers in the shop. So, um, let's do this one. This one's good. Whoa, this one's always like 10 pounds. 10 pounds of what? Oh my gosh. Their potatoes are to die for. Oh, you know what? Let me just put a, a little bit on there. Because I'm going to have to do another plate. But, yeah. Oh. I don't know what it is, but they have the butteriest potatoes. They're I mean, I love their food. If I could afford that every day, I would go there. Mm. So good. All right, I'm just going to put that one over there. The hair on that one, but we'll still... I'm gonna, oh, okay. First of all, this is my favorite. And I will probably have to eat some of them. Before I see Kelly, mac and cheese. Garbanzola cheese, you guys, is the best. Let me put that in. Oh, I feel so sorry for people who do not like leftovers. This is, but I'm, I'm glad people didn't want the left. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe they did, but we just said, yeah, we'll take the leftovers because there was so much left and we had so much food. And then we had cakes. We had their cake and then we had Trisha's birthday cake. So, yeah. Nobody left hungry, you guys, at all. Trust me, they didn't. And let's see what's in the big box. I don't know. Oh, oh my gosh, yes. Well, I forgot about those. I love how they put them in the big box. But asparagus, you guys. Let's topple that on there, too. There we go. I, as a kid, never ate asparagus growing up. I don't even think my mom made it. I don't know. Maybe because if my dad didn't like it, I, we didn't eat it. That was, you know, how it was. Although, that's not true. I mean, if my mom liked it, she would have ate it. Because she also made, uh, would get, make chow mein, chow mein or get it for her. And nobody else liked it. So, yeah, she, she did do stuff like that. So, anyway. Um, this was basically our dinner last night. Of course, it looks better all steamy and fresh coming out, but you know, once I, I zap this in the microwave, I'm almost thinking of putting it on a cookie sheet and baking it on low heat. Hmm, I might do that when Kelly comes home. But anyway, loving the leftovers. I love you, Mastros. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share a little piece of Trisha's birthday party with you. Um, it was so much fun. So much fun. Uh, and uh, I love it, too, because it did get over. Like, like, you go to a party, it's like 2 in the morning or something, you guys. So um, this was really great. At 11, they, the guy goes, okay, well, karaoke's almost done. And, and Trish goes, yeah. She goes, I'm 31 now. i got to end my parties earlier. I'm like, hey, I'm so into that early, early done. Because you know what? We had fun. We, we chit-chatted afterwards. Everybody got, you know, their glitter boxes and everything so it was it was some really great it was just the right amount of time and uh you know people had to get up and go to work too so because this was what wednesday night and um so uh yeah just just all around great party and um maybe hopefully she'll share some of it, it was a beautiful room oh my god it was so it looks so romantic and i'm sure some a lot of that's up on instagram and hopefully she'll do a youtube on it if she, you know, got some good footage. But anyway, um, this makes me happy for today and probably tomorrow. So, um, also probably the first video you see that I'm not actually going to eat. But, um, 
I'm actually still full from last night because I think I we got done eating maybe about nine. I was still picking at nine thirty at night. So, um, and it's it's morning here yet. So, um, it even smells good just like this. Um, so, anyway, you guys, if nothing else, I hope you guys start enjoying leftovers. I mean, they are really amazing. I know you look at it cold and you think, mm, no, I'm not doing leftovers, but you warm it up, you guys. It looks just like that night you got it. So, I'm here to tell you that they're good. They're good. And you should reconsider eating them. But anyway, okay. I'm going to take my plate of food, put plastic wrap on it, and, um, yeah, get Mookie out and get him for a walk. And anyway, thank you, Trisha, again. And, ooh, on, a, on the out note, excuse me, there we go. If you guys uh, can even uh, get one of these, so get one. They're beautiful. There's, uh, I, I'm not even for sure how it all is. I think every month she's going to do this with something different in them. So that's kind of cool. So, um, anyway, um, happy birthday, girl. Bye, you guys.